Emily Eisenhart, and I'm sitting here in my art studio in East Austin. I like to say I'm a visual artist and my canvas is always changing. And so a lot of people know me as a muralist or somebody that is an illustrator, but my I like thinking about untraditional canvases. So it might be a wall, it might be a seven story building. One of the most fun ways that I work is I just collect a lot of paint chips and this helps me before a mural figure out what my color palette is. So I lay them out, I move them around, and then I start cutting out, making a little miniature model of what my mural will be to understand the play of shapes and the play of color. As a creative spirit, I do in some ways thrive in chaos, but I think enough structure to add guardrails is really helpful for me perfect day for me is sitting down in pretty much total silence with coffee and just sketching. My mind feels like very full or busy with ideas or strategies or color palettes and so working in silence I often find that like my mind quiets and I'm able to really focus in on what I'm drawing or painting or cutting up that day. Living in Austin, not only have I started to work with more artists and be curious about other ways of making and, and, and living and being, but my work has become much more colorful. One of the pieces that I have at Nativo is called Texas Spring. One of the things I like to do in my prints, and especially being inspired by Austin, is just how dynamic the environment is and how colors change throughout the day. And so this piece could either be really for early morning or right at sunset. And I quite like every time you look at it, you might see a new piece of it in being layered. I think that the role of art and artists is to spark joy or some sort of sensation in you, whether it catches you visually and makes you stop and think, or it tells a story, or you imbue your story onto that piece if it's abstract. Honestly, that's, I feel my role as an artist in creating shapes that are inspired by something. I keep them open enough that you can determine what you see. And in that, art is successful because you get to make your own story and your own memories of that, whether it's in your home or in a lobby or you know out in the world on a public mural, you, you get to enjoy it and you get to help make it yours.